subscribe tag tv youtube channel and press the notification button people have to live in in unity we are still in transition Civil society has been decimated. Of course we rely on media. And I think the government has not done enough. The international community has failed to respond. No place in the world is perfect. The yoga event is held here. Severe injustice and they should be stopped. We should raise our voices. Condemn this uh, brutal act. Hello viewers, I'm your host Yeshi Chonsom with another episode of South Asia Focus. Let's begin the show with India, where the 40-day lockdown imposed in two phases by Prime Minister Narendra Modi expires on 3rd of May. The country is considering easing restrictions as last chunk of its economic activities is lying stagnant for over one month. The government has also increased the testing significantly as it believes that more diagnosis followed by speedy treatment will further flatten the curve in coming days. Every day rise in the number of people contracting the deadly coronavirus has prompted Indian leaders to be cautious while taking decisions regarding the extension of lockdown and easing restrictions. While most of them believe that chances cannot be taken, few others are of the view that economy must resume. Prime Minister recently held a meeting in view of the crisis and urged state authorities to take decisions in the welfare of the common people. Modi also discussed a layout of partial resumption of economic activities in the regions which are performing better in the dealing of coronavirus. The lockdown samapt hone ka unho ne shabd istimal nahi kiya. Kuch rajyo ne clearly ye kaha ki ye rail travel or air travel nahi hona chahi, Gujarat khas karke. However, weeks of lockdown has also given major economic blows to the country and almost all sectors of the Indian economy have accumulated major losses. So a few states have allowed resumption of industrial work with limited attendance. In Prime Minister Narendra Modi's home state of Gujarat, authorities allowed around 2,500 companies to start operations with up to 50% of their staff as long as employees wore masks and gloves, and appropriate social distancing was maintained. Members of industry groups welcomed the partial resumption of activity. This is a welcome step. This is because of the economy of the country, the jobs were lost, the fear of the loss, the jobs will come back. And from this, the economy of India is falling, the economy will come back track pe aa jayegi aur is export se jo industry apang hone ja rahi thi future mein jo unke liye problems hone wali thi wo kafi had tak solve ho jayengi working in line with a longer plan the authorities also arranged the repatriation of migrant workers to their hometowns the decision came after these workers spent a significant number of days in the government facilitated shelters and quarantine homes, following which it was safe to send them back. The number of testing facilities has seen a significant rise across the country and thousands of both symptomatic and asymptomatic people are being diagnosed every day. The country is also set to start using indigenous RT-PCR and antibody kits. Country's health ministry claims that India will be self-reliant by the end of May. Although India has been successful 
at winning early fight against the virus. Prime Minister Modi has appealed to citizens to strictly comply with a nationwide lockdown and maintain social distancing norms as cases of coronavirus mounted steadily despite over a month-long curfew. मेरे देशवासियों से मैं आपसे आग्रह करूंगा हम कतई ही अति आत्मविश्वास में न फंस जाए हम ऐसा विचार न पाल लें कि हमारे शहर में हमारे गांव में हमारी गली में हमारे दफ्तर में अभी तक कोरोना पहुंचा नहीं है इसलिए अब पहुंचने वाला नहीं है Meanwhile, Indian Foreign Minister Subramaniam Jayashankar held discussions on finding ways to jointly combat the coronavirus pandemic with his counterparts from Brazil, China, Russia and South Africa via video conferencing. The foreign ministerial meeting hosted by Russia, the current rotating head of BRICS, also focused on the impact of deadly virus. that has killed more than 10000 people in the group of emerging economies various international organizations and medical papers have lauded indian efforts and have claimed that india will see a sudden drop in the number of cases post 15th may as many as 319 indian districts have been declared covid free owing to relentless multi-pronged efforts the number of red zone districts which are the hot spots of the outbreak has come down from 170 to 130 while the health bodies and experts have appreciated indian efforts they have also been amazed by how india has fought better at containing the spread while even the most developed countries have struggled The reason is that the collective efforts of both governments and the citizens have paid off. While the authorities were quick to announce the nationwide lockdown, citizens have been disciplined and have adhered to the norms. They have also encouraged doctors and medical workers by expressing gratitude through various acts and activities. Wheat markets in India's northern Amritsar city have stepped up measures. to stop the spread of the coronavirus farmers coming to a wheat market in the city to sell their produce were told to wear a mask sanitize their hands and practice social distancing deputy commissioner of the city shiv dular singh dhillan says that coupons were being given out to farmers in order to regulate their movement मंडी बोर्ड की तरफ से जो स्कीम इस बार चालू की गई है कि कोपन्स देने की ताकि वो कोपन लेके ही जो किसान हैं वो मंडी में अपनी ट्रॉली लेके कर आएँ उसके साथ ये इंश्योर करने के लिए है कि सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग मेंटेन हो सके और वहाँ पे ज़्यादा एकदम क्राउडिंग ना हो और ये लगभग ठीक चल रही है और प्रोक्योरमेंट बड़े अच्छे तरीके से हो रही है a few activities including farming and factory in country's hinterland that has been less hit due to the pandemic have resumed the government plans to open entire country in slow and phased manner the countryside lockdown has already affected the farmers of the country with many of them forced to destroy their crops amid market shutdown Meanwhile, an Indian village in the southern state of Kerala came up with a creative solution to keep people's safety apart, the mandatory use of umbrellas. The local council of the region distributed local umbrellas and promised to subsidize the rates. We can fight summer rain and COVID-92. That is why Tanokan Gram Panchayat is advancing a novel idea to distribute umbrellas and subsidize rates. We take up a, it up as a special project to give about 10,000 these social distancing umbrella to the Kudumbasri workers and energy workers. 
Authorities in the council have told residents to hold an open umbrella whenever stepping outside. Kerala was one of the first states in the country to be affected by coronavirus, but it has been moving towards flattening the curve for a few days now. The state reported a total of 486 cases, including four deaths. Indians, unlike many other countries where people are demanding complete resumption of markets, have kept themselves confined. The citizens across the country are not only adhering to the laws and norms floated in the wake of the pandemic, but they also stepped out to contribute in the fight against the virus. There are thousands who have been regularly feeding the needy across the country. They have also been distributing the ration and toiletry items. Meanwhile, artists decorated a city railway station with graffiti to express gratitude to the frontline workers taking on coronavirus and spread awareness against the pandemic. Walls and road graffiti depicting precautionary measures against the deadly virus are becoming a common trend in India, with artists depicting colorful messages and tributes to the health workers and police personnel in the fight against coronavirus. While India is losing billions every day on its economic front, the citizens have been patient and are happy with the stringent measures being enforced by the government. In various polls conducted by media houses and agencies, almost all citizens of the country said that they wanted the extension of the lockdown. Moving on to Bangladesh, where a section of the massive garment industry has resumed operations after a month of shutdown. This has allowed the workers who were rendered jobless and were compelled to take to the streets return to the work. Earlier, some factories had even switched to manufacturing personal protective equipments, masks and gloves resume operations amid lockdown and re-employ their workers. More than 500 garment factories in Bangladesh that supply to global brands reopened after a month-long shutdown to curb the spread of the coronavirus. Clothing manufacturers in Bangladesh's capital Dhaka and the port city of Chittagong have been permitted to resume work. Some of the world's biggest clothing firms, including Gap Incorporated, Zara owner Inditex and H&M sources their supplies from Bangladesh. The factory owners are optimistic about recovering the losses they incurred due to the lockdown. Corona পরে আমাদের কারখানা আজকে খুললো আমাদের বিশ্বাস এর মধ্যে যে লস আমাদের হয়েছে আমরা আমাদের ব্যবসায়িক পার্টনারদের সাথে সম্মিলিতভাবে আমাদের যারা বিজনেস পার্টনার আছেন আমাদের যারা ইম্পোর্টার আছেন তাদের সবার সহযোগিতা নিয়ে আমরা আমাদের ব্যবসাকে আরো সুন্দর করে চালু করব এবং আমাদের যে শিপমেন্টগুলো এখন আটকে আছে সেগুলো আমরা সবই শিপমেন্ট করব এবং অদূর ভবিষ্যতে বাইরের কাছ থেকে আমরা আরো সাপোর্ট পাব Bangladesh is home to around 4,000 garment factories employing 4.1 million workers. The industry groups for the sector had warned that the shutdown that began on March 26 could cause the country to lose $6 billion in export revenue this financial year. While some workers have hailed the decision of factories resuming their work, others have showed discontent at the lack of the health protection in their workplace and questioned why the industry had to reopen. 
আমি বলতে চাই माननीय প্রধানমন্ত্রীর কাছে এই যে সকল সরকারি প্রতিষ্ঠান বেসরকারি প্রতিষ্ঠান বন্ধ আছে করোনা ভাইরাসের কারণে কিন্তু আমাদের সুরক্ষা নাই আমরা হাজার হাজার মানুষ এই জায়গায় চাকরি করতেছি আমাদের কোনো নিশ্চয়তা নাই আমাদের জানে কোনো মূল্য নাই আমাদের পক্ষে তার কি কোনো কর্তব্য নাই আমরা কি মানুষ না while the country has allowed government and other factories to reopen much of the rest of the economy is still shut down and prime minister sheikh hasina told government officials that schools and colleges may have to remain closed until september bangladesh which didn't register many cases in the month of march and first half of april is seeing a sudden spike in the cases the country has reported around 8000 cases of whom around 170 have died Some experts believe that the number of cases could rise exponentially in the month of Ramadan if the lockdown restrictions are not followed sincerely. While the life and lifestyle of the people across the world have been severely affected by the rapidly spreading coronavirus, it has brought an additional set of crises for the people of illegally occupied POK. The region is facing hours of load shedding. despite the shutdown of industries amid lockdown frustrated locals complain that they receive only a couple of hours of electricity experts have also accused the islamabad administration of working in line of a diabolic design aimed at deliberately denying people of pok their basic rights the spread of corona virus and the subsequent lockdown has severely affected the lives of people in pakistan occupied kashmir The health crisis has not only taken away the meager salaries they would earn but has also forced them to live confined to their homes where there is no electricity. People are still facing hours of power cuts and that has compounded the frustration and has made life more miserable. Nayab, a local in Hatiyanwala town says that power house is right there in the center. but nearby villages and the markets of the town never get enough electricity he appeals authorities to immediately act bijli ki load shedding bahut hoti hai hatiyan wala ke markazi gaon hai idhar ilake mein bazar mein to iska koi hal nikala jaye to baki idhar local gaon mein to hoti hai ye power station hai jo gorabad uski bijli hoti hai yahan ke ke gaon mein gorabad hoti hai sarai hoti hai nogra hoti hai yahan pe ye जगल जगह का नाम है इधर भी होती है बिजली पावर स्टेशन वाली तो इधर मेन बाजार जो है इसमें बिजली की थोड़ी जो है लोड शेडिंग बहुत ज़्यादा होती है ये धनीश अदारा है इसका पीछे गाँव तो वहाँ पर भी बहुत ज़्यादा लोड शेडिंग होती है बिजली की तो इसका कोई हाल निकाला जाए द स्टेट अक्रॉस दी वर्ल्ड आर ओवर वेल्ड विद पार ओइंग टू लॉक डाउन एज द इंडस्ट्रीज एंड फैसिलिटीज दैट कंज्यूम दी पार मोस्ट आर शर्ट so the electricity supply for domestic usage has been increased all around but not in pok in such a helpless situation some of them have even flouted the lockdown another resident javed says people are forced to steal power as the bills for the limited electricity are exorbitantly high billi ki surat hal theek nahi hai aur तारों में, में बहुत ज्यादा लोड शेडिंग है जिसकी वजह से जंपर उड़ जाते हैं जावेद आल्सो सेज दैट देयर आर मेनी प्लेसेस वेयर जस्ट 2 टू 3 आवर्स ऑफ पावर इज अवेलेबल इन द एंटायर डे लोकल्स ब्लेम द गवर्नमेंट वर्किंग एट द बिहेस्ट ऑफ इस्लामाबाद फॉर द सिचुएशन द मिजरी एंड मिस ट्रीटमेंट आर हाउएवर नॉट न्यू टू द पीपल ऑफ इलीगली ऑक्युपाइड पीओके they are deprived of their rights and resources for over 7 decades pakistan has indiscriminately exploited the land water and minerals of the region and continues to do it today but has deliberately denied the natives a dignified life it is not just the electricity but people in occupied kashmir are deprived of almost fundamental needs and rights Moving on, the virus spread has dampened the festive spirit around the world. 
whether it was the Hindu festival of Holi or Christian's Easter, the pomp and grandeur was missing this year. The Islamic holy month of Ramadan is the latest sufferer. Muslims across South Asia are forced to observe the festive time inside the boundaries of their homes. Let's have a look at how the festival is being celebrated across the region. While some are strictly adhering to the lockdown and social distancing norms, others have been blazingly flouting the rules and guidelines. A report. Muslims in India began the holy month of Ramadan on a dull note as most shops, mosques and other places of worship remain closed due to the ongoing lockdown to contain the spread of coronavirus. During Ramadan, Muslims joined their families to break the fast at sunset and go to mosque to pray. But the pandemic has changed priorities with curbs on large gatherings for prayers and public iftars. New Delhi's iconic Jama Masjid Mosque was silent and empty, with no devotees to be seen on the complex as a result of the lockdown. The mosque generally sees a massive footfall with tens of thousands of Muslims across the country coming in to pray during the holy month. ये यादगार रहेंगे ये रमजान हमारे वैसे ये हकीकत है ये यादगार है रमजान क्योंकि रमजान में देखो सब चीजें मिलती हैं हम सुबह लेने जाते हैं अब कुछ भी नहीं है फिर पुलिस वालों ने भगा दिया Dhaka streets are usually teeming with people rickshaws cars and other forms of transport and when Ramadan approaches the numbers swell But this year the essence of the city has vanished the outbreak of COVID-19. Corona karone, shorkare nidde shonai, mushid bondo ase, abong bahirir kono musuli mushidi aste dao hai na, abong tarabi namaz, ito bondo ase. Amra jara ista bitore ase, amra ekhane namaz puri. Calls to prayer could be heard from the minarets, which poke out from the rows of buildings in the densely populated city, but there were almost no people heading to the mosque, many of which were locked. The month-long lockdown was due to end on April 25th, but has since been extended to 5th of May. Fewer people were out on the streets stocking up on essentials as after Kabul extended the lockdown for two more weeks and many shops remained shuttered. Afghans are observing Ramadan amid worries over the spread of coronavirus in the country and a government lockdown. Afghanistan has a fragile health system and it doesn't have enough infrastructure to even diagnose and find a real number of people carrying the virus. However, the delusional religious heads believe and perpetuate that it was their God who contained the virus. In Karachi, Pakistan's commercial capital, which is usually bustling with people, traffic was thinner than usual. But the queues outside the food shops that are still open were long and the fewer vendors on the streets saw brisk business. Pakistan is also battling a ramped up resistance from the religious hardliners who have been demanding mosques to remain open during the holy month. Preparations for the most awaited month among Muslims start months before the festival, 
but this year everything was marred by deadly coronavirus. With that, we come to the end of this week's episode. See you next week. Goodbye and take care.